Hello Insomniacs! This is Never Sleep Again TV. I am Curious Cyclops. And I'm Steve. And today we are going to be discussing awesome bonus gifts that come with horror movies. So I did bring um, a bunch of my favorites because one of my biggest incentives for buying a movie is obviously getting bonus items. So I got some really, really cool things to show you today. First thing I'm going to start off with is going to be the most uh, logical thing to do. So, do, you've seen these Universal Monster Bus that have been in all our videos so far, right? Well, let me show you how I got them. Oh, oh yeah! So, ages ago, they released an awesome Universal Monster Legacy set that has all of the... Um, it has all of the Frankensteins, it has all of the um, Draculas, and it has the Lon Chaney Wolfman movies, as well as some other werewolf movies that Universal did. But obviously wow. there weren't any sequels to the um, Wolfman films. But real quick, I'll show you the legacy sets. I'm sure you've seen these. Um, unfortunately, they only made a set with Dracula, Wolfman, and Frankenstein, but they did release legacy sets separately for the other monsters. Huh. So yeah, the bus, um, woo, the DVDs that came with the bus are right here. We got the Wolfman set, got the Dracula set, and lastly, we got the Frankenstein set. So yeah, definitely, I would say my favorite bonus item I ever got oh, with yeah. some horror films. Okay, so moving on from there. Okay, obviously we are big fans of A Nightmare on Elm Street, so let me show you something. Alright, you guys probably remember this. This is, in my opinion, the best Nightmare on Elm Street um, collection that has been released ever. So, this is the DVD set. Do you know what makes it so special? Not only does it come with a freaking book with production notes on each film, but this is the real kicker, and I'm a real sucker for this. Steve, check these out. <laughs> so we got some Nightmare on Elm Street 3D glasses for the special 3D scene in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Oh, yeah. And you know what? It kind of works. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, we've came a long way since Red and Blue right. 3D. I mean, even my 3DS is more capable. But you know what? It is charming. I so. kind of miss this, though. Isn't it, it cool? It, it you just wear them? It has nostalgia to like, it. Dude, everything's kind of trippy right now with it, these Yeah, on. it's a little freaky, but so, it's awesome. Uh, you know, this honestly makes um, the box set so worth it because oh, for sure. seeing that little segment in Freddy's Dead, it's freaking awesome in the red and blue 3D. So, definitely got to love that. All right. Next, I got to go with my Evil oh, Dead God. gift set, the Necronomicon set. So... The thing that makes this so cool is it's Evil Dead 1 and 2. They each come in their own different Necronomicon. So that is Evil Dead 1. It has freaking pages in it. And you know what? There's actually like cryptic writing. Yeah. But it didn't take us too long to find out that um the cryptic writing is actually spoofs of English. So you know, you could actually kind of read through it. Yeah. So you know, it's really cool. It's a awesome gift set um and of course it comes with a little booklet which is pretty cool but you know obviously just having the freaking necronomicons oh, in yeah. general it's freaking awesome so let me show you real quick the evil dead 2 book do you know what broke my freaking heart well when you push the eyeball on this thing it's supposed to go Oh, yeah. Of course, I had too much fun with it every day. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Guess what? Fucking battery died years ago. And there ain't really a way to open it up and replace battery. So, freaking Insomniacs, if anyone successfully replaced a battery to the Necronomicon for Evil Dead 2, please let me know how the hell you did it because I missed the sound effects. <laughs> and, uh, you know... It has cool pages just like the first one. Uh, really cool. So yeah, obviously, gotta love Evil Dead, gotta love the Necronomicons. Yeah, that's a beautiful so, set, dude. I know, it, it really is. Um, it was worth every freaking dollar. I oh, got absolutely. I got it at Suncoast when I was a kid. So, yeah, so that's pretty damn cool. All right, what do we have next? Ooh, 
as you know obviously I love George Romero um I think he's the only one that can properly really do justice for zombie films <laughs> besides the Italian ones that I really like right but uh you know I'm not a fan of too much modern ones yeah but this ultimate edition is freaking ultimate all right it has like every single cut of Dawn of the Dead but what really made it special to me there is a pretty damn awesome comic book that it came with and you know what um obviously I'm not like necessarily too big on comics like right. you are but just the fact that it came with this oh yeah and it has like the opening scenes in it it's pretty damn cool and it's it's pretty legit too like looking through it before we started filming like I wonder I saw it was an IDW pub published comic I wonder if it was like a, a real thing that they broke right. down for the box set or if it's just something that they made to put in there yeah that is a good question I wish I knew um but you know this is just awesome I mean how many horror movies come with a friggin comic so gotta say I really really enjoy that hell yeah all right put that off to the side all right what do we have here so as you know Friday the 13th part 3 was Friday the 13th part 3D. Here's another cool lenticular cover for you. And, of course, what do you know? Oh, some more. If, Fred, if it's good enough for Freddy, it's good enough for Jason. Oh, yeah. We got some 3D glasses, and unlike the Nightmare on Elm Street ones, it's not just for a segment. These glasses you can use for the whole entire movie. And you know what? Uh, me and my girlfriend, Christy, we actually sat through this whole friggin' movie with these things on. Did you? I'm not kidding. We took these off at the end of the movie. We were seeing blue-green fucked-up vision, like, <laughs> for... At least an hour. I was kind of like, oh my god, is this bad for your eyes? Right? I wonder what we were doing to everyone back in like the 80s and 90s with these. So imagine watching a whole movie with these things on. They, you know, I, I like the move that we made to these new clear 3D glasses just because they're bigger and they fit over my normal glasses. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's definitely a cool little oh, yeah, novelty absolutely. gift. Now here's a really cool one. Everyone knows I'm definitely an old school guy as well. Um, and I'm talking about old school. So here, a lot of people didn't know 13 Ghosts was pretty popular. Well, guess what? It was a remake of a very, very old movie, 13 Ghosts. And William Castle, he was known for doing a lot of gimmicks uh, in the movie theaters for his films. So right. back then, they had illusional goggles. And what it was was if you looked through the red lens, you would see the ghosts on the screen. But if you got too scared, they told you to look through the blue and the ghost would actually disappear. Well, when it came out on DVD, they actually made a little reproduction <laughs> of the uh, Illusiono viewers. So, and of course it still works. Um, you look through the red, you see the ghost, you look through the blue, you can't see them. Right. But obviously this is pretty much like a variation of the red and blue <laughs> 3D glasses, just used in a totally different way. It's, it's like a cool little trinket to have. But it's so weird to be like, oh, do you want to watch a movie called 13 Ghosts and not see any fucking you know, ghosts? That's, that's the whole joke about <laughs> it. Like, since, since this was even in theaters, people are like, why the hell would you go see a ghost movie without wanting to right. see a ghost? But who knows? Maybe back then in a more innocent time, maybe it truly was Yeah, scary. maybe. I mean, you know, it's. I would say there's at least one creepy scene where there's like a spiral freaking poltergeist spirit thing going around. I don't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> But, I, um, you know, that's definitely fun. And, Steve, why don't you show them what comes in here while I go get something else. Sounds good. <laughs> so in the uh, Wellgo Phantasm box set that came out a few months back, uh, although, like we've said, uh, we didn't get the sphere that we were hoping for, but it did come with a really nice little booklet with, you know, production photos, some writing, all kinds of stuff. And it also came <laughs> with this beautiful, big old, beautiful, double-sided poster. Here, let me help you yeah, out there. Yeah, help me out there. Let's make sure we get that in All right, frame. so as you can see, it has the artwork for our Region 1 box set, but here's the real kicker, and I think a lot of people really enjoy it for this. Oh, yeah. So they released obviously new artwork when they did the original remaster. Um, and as you can see, that's gonna be beautiful on our wall. Yeah. So all we gotta do is find a proper frame for it and you know, you know what? It's uh, pretty damn cool. Oh, yeah. Like I said, no no freaking sphere, but at when, when I at least found out that we were getting a book with it, I felt okay. Right. Because at first I thought it was just a poster and that was in. I was like, this is bullshit. But, you know, the book 
um, is pretty nice. So yeah, it definitely. Definitely makes up for it. Takes the sting off a little bit. All right, I got one more for you. Now, this one is actually very well known in Brazil. Not too well, not too well known in the States, but um, this is at Midnight I'll Take Your Soul from the Coffin Joe franchise. And do you want a cool thing this came with? Actually, do you want, when I was talking about Dawn of the Dead, it totally reminded me to bring this. Um, do you know why? <laughs> What's that? Comes with a freaking comic. Oh, shit. And actually, they actually released all these DVDs in one coffin shaped box set. And guess uh -huh. what? Um, I believe each of them came with a different comic. Oh, wow. And to be honest, I actually read this front to back. It is black and white. But oh my god, is the story good. Like seriously, you would enjoy it. Oh yeah. It almost uh, reminded me of something you would see from Tales from the Crypt. Because you know, it's a horror um, story with a big twist ending. Uh, and you know what? I got Like I said, how many um, DVDs come with comics? Uh, especially for horror. So it's definitely cool that Coffin Joe also offered comics. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Alright, and that's all I have to show off today for cool little novelty items that came with horror films that I own. So I guess that's going to be it for this video. Sounds right. like it. So Curious Cyclops is out. Yeah, Steve out too. All right. Well, thank you for watching Never Sleep Again TV. Comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks, we will guys. see you in our next video. Thank you.